Paper 7, Literatures of India, An Introduction, Part 2, Dance Like a Man, Session Number 42, and Themes of the Play, Part 2. So one of the themes that I'll be dealing with now is Dance as Life and Soul. Dance is a very significant factor in this play. That means different things to different characters. Jairaj and Ratna want to develop their career as dancers. And for them, dance is not only a hobby, but also life and soul. It's not only their passion, but also a tool that will help them to gain desired success. Personally, for Jairaj, Dance is a form or a means to express emotions and stands as the tool of defiance, revolt, negation of a particular way of life that was decided by his father, Amritlal. He starts dancing as a hobby, or rather a fancy, that his father thought would perish after a period of time, but it doesn't happen that way. Jairaj continues his practice of traditional dancing, in spite of all the opposition from his father and overtly presents himself as a rebel. He becomes more headstrong because of the support of his wife, Ratna, who also was interested in traditional form of dancing. The reason behind Amritla's opposition suggests that his mind was not ready to accept his son as a Bharatanatyam dancer. More than that, he was shocked on knowing the fact that Jairaj was planning to grow his hair long just like his guru, which would enhance his abhinaya. Amritla saw dance as something that was practiced by prostitutes, which was turning temples into brothels. If we see Amritlal as a father, his oppositions were not so very illogical. He gave his son the freedom to practice dance, but he was worried that the passion of dance would not lead his son anywhere and he would not be able to support his family in future. In the society, everyone wants to male, though that much that the house would run properly. But Amritlal knew that dance wouldn't help Jairaj to earn enough money and that would make him unworthy in the eyes of his wife Ratna. For Amritlal, dance was good as far as it remains a hobby, but it was not proper to be taken as a profession. And we should not forget that traditional dance, especially for men, was not considered a respectable profession in the olden days in India. Asha Kuthari Chaudhary says, the underlining fear is obviously that dance would make him womanly, an effeminate man. The suggestion of homosexuality hovers near, although never ex explicitly mentioned. Dance for Ratna serves as an undying passion that drives her character throughout all the actions of the drama. Behind all her moves in the drama, dance was the main factor. After reading the play, one may coin her character a selfish one, as she lives only for herself and uses others as a mere tool or a step to go ahead. Her character has a negative shade and that makes her different than others. She involves herself in a relationship with Jairaj and that was a clear self-centered decision on her part. No love or attachment with Jairaj was there on the outset of the relationship. Her overconfidence and faith in her own talent was so much that she hesitated not even once to destroy Jairaj's career as a dancer joining hands with her father-in-law, Amritla. 
She single-mindedly follows her heart, overpowered by mind, and tries to be famous using dance as a medium. Traditional dance stars as a thing that will help her in earning fame and money along with respect in the world of dancers. Her interest was so lethal that when Jairaj came to know about her inner desires, the purpose was already achieved, leaving Jairaj a failure, mere mediocre dancer. In a way, she took the advantage of Jairaj's love for her and her status as a wife. In the process of having name and fame, she sacrificed Jairat's life and his substance as a male. She was a constant force pushing Jairat toward the world of dance, even when she was aware that he was not talented enough to reach the zenith of success. She was the person responsible for Jairat's undoing as a character as well as a dancer. Unfortunately, she didn't stop here only, but went beyond and consciously shaped her daughter's life also as a traditional dancer. Lata, her daughter, was used by her to fulfill her inner suppressed desires to earn fame and money nationwide and abroad. Unknowingly, Lata falls in the wheel pool created by Ratna and becomes the object only. Ratna's endeavors seem very ambitious and manipulative. She was ready to establish her daughter's career and the right to track right from the very beginning. And for that, she schemes, manipulates, and uses all her contacts and links. It's very clear that Ratna saw her own self in her daughter Lata and therefore acted so violently to create a firm, concrete base for her. Symbolically, Lata in the play is none but young Ratna who succeeds with the help and support of his mother. Mahesh Tattani uses traditional dance as a medium that creates conflict in the play within the minds of the other characters. As the play goes forward and the actions take place, Dan takes the center stage and pushes the characters outside. Traditional dance in the play is not only a form or a tool that enables the writer to tell his story, but it creates its own psyche that guides or misguides the actors on the stage. One more theme of the play, which now I'll be dealing with, is dance like a man, followed with question mark. Whether dancing of a man is accepted in the society or uh, the society rebels against a man who take up this profession. Asha Kutari Chaudhary writes, Dance Like a Man is play that deals with one that on his pet concerns gender through one of his principal passion dance. In this play, as a reader, one may find that the play poses some delicate questions among which one surely is of male idea. In India, people think that traditional dance is meant only for women and it's a land on which no male should ever trade. Here, the question is not of mere dance form or hobby, but it has very deep roots in our culture too. It's about the whole conditioning of a nation that boasts of having the most ancient cultural tradition. Here, dancers are identified as ones who have long hair, womanly gait, and a feminine speaking style. It has some homosexual undertones also woven in it, but here in the play, they are not mentioned directly. When Jairaj takes up traditional dance as a hobby and lifelong craze, he takes it as something that gave him pure delight. He never thought traditional dance as something that is proper only for women. 
Here we can say that the decision was brave and daring. He was perfectly convinced with the idea and allows Ratna also to dance. He respected his teacher who was with long hair and womanly grade as expressed by Amrit Lal. Jaira's approach towards traditional dance was sincere and honest and somewhere his character conveys that he believed in art for art's sake. When Amrit Lal expresses his disapproval for the dance teachers coming home and shows contempt for his work, Jairaj favors the teacher and dance. The radical act of Jairaj having dance as a hobby shows that he believed in carving a new path and had the ability and metal to clean it. He faithfully follows his hobby only to realize afterwards how he was used by Ratna joining hands with Amrit Lal. For Ratna, dance was a medium to gain popularity and status and for that she married Jairaj who would never stop her from dancing. Ratna's selfish inner desire was so powerful that she cold-bloodedly plays with the emotions of Jairaj by misguiding him constantly. In the guise of a true life companion, she deceives her husband and tries to curb his potential as a dancer. In order to gain personal aims, she sacrifices Jairaj's abilities. Ratna not only spoils Jairaj's life, but tries to mold her daughter Lata's life also by making her a traditional dancer. In spite of being a male member of the family, Jairaj never tries to command his authority over Ratna and instead she very deliberately plays with his emotions. When Jairaj returned to his father's house, Ratna disliked it and she says in the play once, You, you are nothing but a spineless boy who couldn't leave his father's house for more than 48 hours. Ratna says to Jairaj, Shockingly for readers, Ratna herself discards Jairaj's maleness openly and he accepts it without any offense. In the play, maleness of Jairaj was not that much a question of body than that of mentality. Researchers found that for Ratna, maleness might have meant one's independent decision-making power doing the work that one liked living on one's own conditions, standing on one's own feet without any support and some other that Jairaj lacked. Interestingly, even Jairaj was trying to prove himself a able man to Ratna. When Ratna was worried about finding a Bridangam player for her daughter, he says, Will finding a musician make me a man? Throughout the play, Jairaj appears as one who suffers on account of choosing his own path, which was untrodden by others. His portrayal is so noble that he never blames Ratna for the death of their son Shankar that was the result of a carelessness or insincerity. Opposite to general understanding or expectation, here Amrit Lal, the father-in-law of Ratna, tries to curb Jaira's passion for traditional dance and for that takes her help. In the play, the Taniput Jairaj at the end, where not the woman but man is targeted. In the play, we witness the psychological manipulation of a man by his wife and father. One more thing which we people will be discussing now is dominant orthodox society and violence in the family. Nevertheless, as a good observer of society, Dattani minutely gives the description of class local and dominant orthodox and ethical ethos. Amrit Lal, consistent defiance of choosing dance as a profession and Jairaj's single-minded views about his ambition 
presents the generation gap between families that become the serious disease and somehow deteriorated relationship between father and son. Indian society is confronting the challenge of patriarchal dogma from the very outset and yet it has been imbibed by people that the Tani believe should be erased and cured for a better society. It is said that every parent do better for the children and always try to make their future perfect. But somehow they should also concern about the children's ambition. Although like every father, Amritlal was also a good father in something. Example, he, bring, he brings a dance instrument in his house because Jairaj was interested and also constructed the cricket pitch lawn for his son. But when he comes to know about Jairaj's obsession towards dance, he strictly opposed it. Amritlal is a traditional, typical and old patriarchal father whose ideology was bounded with certain societal credentials and creed that he grabbed from his early generation. Although he preserved liberal ideas and also played an important to wipe out the evil empire of British in his age and he defies his son's choice and shackles his freedom by not allowing him to pursue his dream to become a dancer. When Jairaj is prevented by his father on the basis of his social stigma, Jairaj reminds him his progressive ideas bitterly. Where are your progressive ideas now? Where is the spirit of revolution? You didn't fight to gain independence. You fought for power in your hands. Why you are just a conservative and prudish as the people who were ruling over us? Amrit Lal was the man of Indian patriarchal conventions that was the inseparable part of society. In the play, everything, everything in the house directed by him who is to be assumed the head of the family. He represents himself the well-wisher and head of the house and also desires from others to follow his rules and laws. He does not permit anyone in the house to follow their will if it goes against him. Amrit Lal counter responds to defend himself against her son, shows only his dual standard and hypocritical views. He says, you are mistaken. Gaining independence was part of our goal. As you know, our priority is to eradicate certain unwanted and ugly practices which are a shame to our society. Despite this, he indicted Hatna, his daughter-in-law, the responsible person of his son's obsession towards dance. Ratna was very erudite in this art and she has also dreamt to become a popular dancer but after getting married to Jaira, she has lost her identity and ambition to become a good dancer because of her Amritla devilish perceptions. With Jairaj, she was not allowed to follow her dreams and this causes despair and frustration in her life too and she also scolds Jairaj and accused him of all the problems. She is also used as an instrument by Amritla to deviate his son from such womanly ambition. He speaks to her that if she can convince his son not to follow dance art and destroy his obsession, he will permit her to dance. A woman in a man's world may be considered as being progressive, but man in a woman's world is pathetic. Help me make him an adult. He helped me grow up. Help me and I will never prevent you from dancing. Amritlal to Ratna. The constant argument in the play between father and son lastly impaired Jairaj to leave the house so that he can take breath freely and follows his dream 
by his own will. But outside the house, the circumstances do not suit him, and again he stepped back to return his father's house. Jairaj returning to his house indicate his defeat and the surrender of his will and follow the customary law of his father. He has turned from an optimist, confident and determined person into a helpless, important drunk and who becomes habitual of whim and every day scolded in his own house. Ratna also played a crucial role to shatter the dream of her husband Jaira. She has been totally ambitious and materialistic woman who doesn't care about other feelings and emotions to fulfill all her own desires. She gets married to Jairaj on the basis that he will not create obstacles and barrier in her career and to follow her dream to become a popular and recognized dancer. To pursue her ambition, she was ready to do anything when Amritlal tempts her by saying that she is free to dance if she can diverge her husband from this art. She accepted it without showing any concern. She scolds and insults Jairaj by calling him an ordinary dancer and spineless boy. If you dance alone, your mediocrity would be exposed. Yes, ask yourself your true worth and you will get your answer. Yes, I did cut you off, but when you deserved it. So don't come to me saying I destroyed you. I didn't have to. You did all by yourself. And don't expect me to feel sorry for you because I'm too busy feeling sorry for myself. In every line of this passage, we can easily find that how she humiliates her husband and accuse him responsible of her destruction. Jairaj finds himself weak and alone creature who is crushed by own loved ones and only resistance comes from his side was his silence attitude. Ratna's speeches exhibit her dominating attitude and behavior that in so far overshadows Jairam identity and make him a victim of man. She calls Jairaj, not a man uh, far off from the day when they came back to this house. In a scene, Jairam, in a drunk state, reached unconsciously over the stage where Ratna is getting ready to perform. After watching Jairaj in this condition, she reproaches him bitterly and furiously like a stranger person. Talks about what? Talk about how you insult me in front of the other people? How you make me feel ashamed of you? How, how disgusting are you? Nevertheless, she avoids scaring her own son and shows negligence towards the child and it causes his death because of opium overdose under the governance of Aya. The protagonist also betrayed outside of his house and this, it is reckoned, compared him to step back to his father's house. At Ratna's uncle's house, where they took shelter for some days after leaving his father's house, Jairaj finds himself hostile and deceived. Ratna's uncle demands from Jairaj that he should send his wife on his back because he is their protector. Such unexpected demands make him sad and he returned back again to a confined world and he reluctantly accepted every law of his father. The decision of Jairaj to returning back to his own house opposed by Ratna and he was furiously attacked by her. Oh, how easily you fool yourself? You think you are covered, don't you? I'm not going to let you off so easily. You can't blame us for your stay and get away with it. What do you want? Ask yourself, do you want freedom? You had it and you came back to your prison. In the whole play, it seems that Jairaj finds himself crammed and surrounded by hooligans. He is dominated by his father as well as 
by his wife and perceives himself an artist without esteem. In a place we can observe his agony when he speaks to Ratna. We will find musician makes me a man. Further, there are various instances in the play that shows the whole narrative obstacles and situations designed to dominate an artist's life. Thank you.